Good morning, friends. It's definitely not morning for you wherever you are, or maybe it is, maybe if you're in Australia or something, it's probably the morning. But if it is good morning, and if it isn't good evening, and if it isn't good afternoon, and if it isn't good night. Okay, so basically, as you can tell from the title of this video, I have no friends and my boyfriend isn't around. Well, no, okay. So I do have friends, but they just never like answer my texts. Well, well no. Okay, so we have this group chat. Obviously, like every friend group has a group chat. And um, I text into it and I was like, okay, so who wants to do something this weekend? Cause like the weather was supposed to be great. And this is the only response I got. This is me reenacting their bitmojis, by the way. Yeah, so nobody answered me, um, which is a bit of a kick in the teeth, but I, the, something I need to understand is like, clearly like, I'm an influencer, like, I don't have a proper nine to five job. All my other friends do like they're all working and whatever and like some of them are still like living in their college accommodation and stuff but like i haven't seen them in so long just because we've all been in different colleges and like because of the lockdown and covid and stuff and restrictions obviously i couldn't see them but now that i can see them and like they're just not available it's so frustrating but anyways usually i would spend every weekend with my boyfriend obviously because like he was in six years so like the only time he had free when he wasn't in school was the weekend so I'd see him on a Saturday sleep over and stay on a Sunday but this weekend he went off to his friends down um in another county to watch the Champions League final and yesterday I did have a mental breakdown yep so today I've decided to give myself a kick up the arse and I'm going to compile all the things that you can do when you have no friends and your boyfriend isn't around or your girlfriend, or your partner, who cares? Just whenever your significant other isn't around. Okay, first thing we're gonna be doing is a workout because when you're alone, the best thing to do is work on yourself. Focus on yourself. I'm gonna be doing this workout outside, but I can't like speak when I'm outside in the back garden. I don't know if you can tell, but like I live in an estate, so like there's just like slim little concrete walls, which you can look over into other people's gardens. So if she sees me or hears me, she's gonna come over and try and talk to me in the middle of my workout and I just cannot be dealing with that right now. This crop top, by the way, is from Final Bend. They are an absolutely unreal company. They're a small Irish business. Like, honestly, if you're looking for sports gear, this is the best thing ever. They also sent me a pair of leggings and they're the stretchiest, most comfortable, most flattering pair of leggings ever. I'm just not wearing them right now because it's too hot to wear leggings. <laughs> the best things to do when you have no one else to hang out with is go and visit your grandparents. A lot of you probably already know because I talk about it a lot on my channel and on my social medias. Every weekend I will bring my granny a coffee and like we'll just sit in her back garden and have a chat. Because like obviously before the pandemic hit my granny would be coming over like very regularly just for dinner and stuff. Mum would cook dinner, we'd have roast dinner on a Sunday and she would come over. But since the pandemic she obviously hasn't been able to come in. She's vaccinated now so she She's vaccinated now, so she can't come in, and my parents um, have gotten both their first doses of the vaccine, which is really exciting. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. We're gonna go and get a Costa. She loves Costa for some reason. I don't really know why. We don't have Starbucks in Carlo either, which is pretty poop. So I just get like the fruit coolers from Costa because they're so nice. So before I do any of my skincare, I'm just gonna put on the medium self tan mist by a vegan tan. Absolutely in love with this tan. It just, it develops really nicely throughout the day. I always talk about this on my Instagram story, but this combo for morning skincare is the best. Ordinary hyaluronic acid, I actually need to get more of this. I'm running out. This is also a great like makeup base, I think, because it's quite tacky and then it absorbs and it's so hydrating. Like, oh my God, it's amazing. And then on top of that, I'm gonna put the Garnier Organic 
Rosy Glow 3-in-1 Youth Cream. Every time I wear this foundation and if I go out and meet any friends, I always get compliments on my skin because it just makes your skin, as I said, so rosy and so glowy. It gives you such a healthy glow. And um, if you use any hyaluronic acid, you need to put like a moisturizer um, on top of it or else like the hyaluronic doesn't, the hyaluronic acid doesn't work. Um, it needs something to absorb into basically. I'm not putting on any face makeup on today just because it is way too hot so if I did put anything on I would sweat it straight off. Second of all, my skin is actually looking quite good recently. Um, it's cleared up quite a bit. I had a bit of a breakout recently. I rave about this mascara. This was gifted to me. Um, it's a Lancome Lash Idole. I, it's French or Italian maybe, I don't know. It's the best mascara I've ever used. I oh my god. For my brows, I'm using the Pixie Natural Brow Duo in Deep Brunette. I'm just going to draw on a, a couple little hairs and then use the brow gel. Why does that look so bad? Oh my god. Okay, so this is our fit check for today. Both these pieces are from Misguided. These are like recycled material shorts and they're unreal. And I have my Jordans. Look how good these go with this, right? So the red and the red the yellow and the yellow and then the green and the green. This top was made for these shoes. Okay, I'm back. So it is absolutely scorching today. Like, I mean, it is like 21 degrees. That actually isn't even that hot, but it's scorching for the type of weather we have been having. So I've decided I'm going to sunbathe because if I'm sad and lonely, I might as well look tanned and hot while doing so. We have like these like tanning bed things, but I'm really, really scared to get it because it's been in here and there's huge fucking spiders in here. Like I'm looking at the webs now, I'm so scared. Oh my God, it's so, oh my God, there's webs hanging out of it. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. Okay, girly pops, this is the tanning fit. I'm not showing you the bottom of these bikinis because that's definitely not appropriate for YouTube. This bikini is from Pretty Little Thing, by the way, um, and it comes with that and has like the bars down here too. Okay, so. This is my setup. I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, the closest I'm gonna get to like Marbella in the next year. So I found some 20 SPF sun cream, which will do me fine. I also found this tanning oil spray and it has 10 SPF on it. So I will be using everything at my disposal to get as bronzed as possible because I do want to look like I just came back from Spain. Oh, I've decided I'm gonna treat myself. I realise it's going to get really warm. Oh. I've realised I'm not going to get a holiday to Spain, so I might as well make everything seem as though I'm in Spain. I feel like as though I'm at the peak of my life right now. That's actually really fucking sad. <laughs> Me sitting alone in my back garden drinking. Trying to burn myself to a crisp is the peak of my life, everyone. I'm gonna sunbathe now for the next probably three hours. I'm sure you all don't want to see me sunbathe for three hours. So I will see you and we will see if I'm burnt to a crisp or not. Okay, so to be honest, I can't really tell if I got a tan or not. Mostly because I think I have sunstroke. Maybe I'm drunk. Who knows anyways. But we're gonna go for a walk. And walking, you know, is good for you. It's good for your mental health and exercise and I need to say a lot about this. Sometimes you just need to cry. And I feel a lot better now that I've cried. I think it's also a mix of me having heat stroke, hay fever, my period is coming. Also girls, remember what I told you about this mascara look? No, no stains. 
Everyone needs to get this mascara. After a long day of being super hot and sexy, you need to treat yourself with some skincare. I also, I think I need to specify that I did eat today. Um, I just like completely forgot to show what I ate um, during the day, but don't worry, I did eat and that was part of my um, lonely girl routine. So I'm just putting on some hydrating eye patches because my skin is so dried out from being in the sun. These ones are from Penny's, they're the soothing vitamin E eye patches. I'm also gonna put on a hydrating face mask. This is a coconut cream mask, also from Penny's. Am I the only one that has to make sure like their face masks are like completely even? I don't know, just it's more aesthetically pleasing. So I just opened my window and I can hear my like neighbors are having a party. Should I call the guards on them because they didn't invite me? And like I'll leave a note on their door, I'm like, invite me next time and I won't call the guards. That's definitely how you make friends. Okay, now that my face mask is off, I'm just gonna show you what I've been doing for my skincare recently. First things first, we're gonna start off with toner. Always using this, the Pixie Glow Tonic Toner. So I'm just putting this on a cotton pad and I'm gonna tap it all around my face. So, okay, so recently I got a PR package from Kiehl's, um, cause I'm on their PR list. Um, and basically I got their Kiehl's, the Midnight Recovery Oil and the Midnight Recovery Under Eye Cream. And I also got the Hydro Plumping Serum. And these also came with this thing. I don't know how to explain what they are. I'm sure people are gonna recognize them when they see them. You're supposed to use them to like put on your serums and stuff and they help with depuffing. So that's what we're gonna do. I had these in the freezer just for like 15 minutes there so they would get a little bit cold. So I'm gonna start off with the Kiehl's Hydro Plumping Serum. This is cool, oh I really enjoy this. You know what I really wanna get? I really wanna get a, oh my God, I keep clunking, oh, stop. So, oh my God, I almost rolled off the table. That was scary, okay. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with the Midnight Recovery. At night, I way prefer putting on oils rather than moisturizers. Um, just because I feel like it does the job a lot more and it like, I always feel so much better when I wake up in the morning. It just, it feels so much better. You feel so much healthier. Like your skin feels so plump and so lovely in the morning after. Finally, I'm gonna go in with the Midnight Recovery Under Eye Cream. I can't use the glass balls for that. You've had a long day of being hot and sexy and lonely. Now it's time for you to chill, relax, rewind, meditate, and just enjoy yourself. I have a bowl of popcorn here and a nice ice cold glass of water because I'm definitely dehydrated and have sunstroke. And I'm just gonna turn on a film and have an early night tonight because I have to get up early in the morning and have meetings and stuff to do and ugh. But yeah, I really do hope you kind of enjoyed this vlog plus what to do when you have no friends video. I know this video is probably a little bit boring and I really do apologize. I want to get content out as much as possible and a lot of you ask for vlogs all the time so I'm just kind of giving what you ask but um, if you want different things please let me know because I appreciate all your feedback so much. But yeah that's it for me. I hope you all have an amazing night or rest of your day, rest of your evening, rest of your morning, whatever time you're watching this video at. I love you all so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!